my name is Rachel Murta. I'm the manager of the Tees Valley Nature Partnership and I'm here at RSPB Salt Home, um, which is in Stockton Borough and I'm really pleased to be joined with a couple of the Wildlife Trust volunteers who are going to be asking me questions this, uh, this afternoon. How are you or your organisation working to address the issue of climate change? Well, the Nature Partnership is a partnership of 40 different organisations that work across the Tees Valley and we range from the Environment Agency to Stockton Borough Council to the Wildlife Trust to the Rivers Trust to the Cleveland Hedgehog Preservation Society. There's a whole range of different organisations, large and small, in our partnership. So we're all about working together and talking to each other and joining up our actions and joining up our inspiration. So each individual organisation will be doing some great work, but together we're about working together and then working at a sort of Tees Valley scale with other big organisations to, to see how we can provide nature-based solutions to, to the climate crisis. Great, thank you. Uh, how locally can we tackle the issue of climate change? That's a great question. And of course we can all individually do something. Everybody has it in their power to do something. Now there's lots of information out there, great information on the internet um, about individual actions that we, that we can take. And I'm not going to say all of those because it's all, all that information's out there. Now, talking from a nature partner partnership perspective, my big um, request is that people connect with nature because the biological, the biodiversity crisis and the climate crisis are one in the same. So we need to recognise this. These aren't two separate issues, these are issues together. And part of that is about us reconnecting with nature and about re-establishing our bond with the natural world. Um, and so I just say go out and enjoy the amazing nature that we've got there. As you can see from even Salt Home or on your, on your doorstep, there are some amazing places. And if you make a really great contact with nature and a real emotional bond, then you'll want to protect it and you want to do something about it. And it just moves from there. So that's the main thing. Go out, get out there, appreciate what we've got, fall in love with nature again. So I'd like to ask both of you, what's one thing that we can do to help improve the planet for the next generation? So personally, I believe that taking an active role of getting hands on and really doing the research about what's happening is vital for improving the planet for the next generation. So for example, you could volunteer with your local eco conscious charity, whether that be the RSPB, Wildlife Trust, anything like that, or with your local council, um, to do some practical conservation, some community outreach, or you could even use your voice um, to promote political or retail change, so getting changes made to the products that you find in shops to make them more eco sustainable. Um, there is a long we don't have much time left to really just be bystanders. We really need to start making these changes in our lives. And it's just so rewarding to do it. And also in terms of what the Nature Partnership can do, it'd be really beneficial, I believe, to have young people sitting in on meetings, getting involved, and actively being involved in making decisions about what's going to happen. I think having those kind of opinions from a wide range of different people is something that makes the battle against climate change far more inclusive, far more diverse and makes makes it so it's accessible for everyone. That's fantastic because it's all our futures isn't it? Mm. That's great, thank you Hannah. You're